Uh, my name's Peter Bazalchet and I'm chair of ITV. The most interesting thing happening with television at the moment is that the technology is exploding, which means there's infinite consumer choice. We used to think consumers, viewers, had an awful lot to look at uh, when they had just hundreds of TV channels, because when I was born there was one TV channel, and two years into my life there were two TV channels, and about 15 years into my life there were three TV channels. Then there were hundreds of TV channels, but that was before YouTube, Facebook, and all the other online means of distributing video. So now there is an extraordinary panoply. If I'm asked uh, what aspect of the creative industries I'm most excited about today, I think I'd look at two ends of, of the spectrum. At one end, I'd say I'm really excited that we are at the moment managing to sustain some traditional things like the BBC which I think um, are very important to our democracy with their independent news and important to our uh, creative economy because of the investment they make in talent and also important to our culture because they make programmes that essentially enrich our national conversation. And at the other end of the spectrum, I'm very excited about the number of ways now that you can receive BBC or any other products of the creative industries. But it is very exciting that great content is more receivable and more distributable on more um, devices in more ways at more times of the day than ever before. That has to be an opportunity. The advice to people who want to get into the creative industries is that you need to network. Uh, creative industries are very much rely on freelancers and industries that are typically made up of freelancers. It's very difficult to break into the charm circle if you don't have the contacts and the network. So one of the important things for those of us who are already in the creative industries is we've got to try and create networks for people who want to come into the industry who don't come from a background of having contacts of people in the industry. And that's a big challenge for us. So we need to do things in the future like having a really strong um, careers uh, promotion and career service about the creative industries in schools, which is aimed not just at kids but also at parents. Because there's an awful lot of parents who think going into the creative industries is a terrible idea because it isn't a solid career like accountancy or medicine or the law. Actually, there are many very good career paths, but we don't at the moment, I think, attract to them all the talents from everybody of all backgrounds. And if we're going to have a really creative industry you know, and it's going to live up to its name creative, it should be drawing on all the cultural influences we have in our country. And I don't think it does that currently.